Woo, sweet mother of molasses. Mm. What's up, YouTube? This is Shabazz, and I'm back with another CBD and flower review. What's up, YouTube? My name is Shabazz. I make educational, informative, and entertaining videos about hemp, hemp flower, CBD, alternative cannabinoids, cannabis accessories, cannabis in general. If that sounds right for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What's up to all my can of sewers? Hope you're staying healthy, hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. Just wanna say before we get into the review, this is the last video I'ma post before I make or don't make that 4K Q&A video. If you want me to do the Q&A video, make sure you leave your question or questions, it doesn't have to be just one, down in the comments so I can record that video. All right, we have a new vendor to the channel today. Actually, they're not that new because we have tried their flower on the channel several times before. You probably tried their flower several times. The thing is, they've always been a grower and a wholesale supplier to a lot of the vendors that I've reviewed here and a lot of the popular vendors that y'all buy from. They decided to start doing their own retail and ship direct to consumer. Out of South Carolina, I'm talking about Holy City Farms. Now, as I said, Holy City Farms, they're a, a grower. They grow mostly indoor flower, I believe. And up till this point, they sold it wholesale, large amounts to vendors, which then sold it retail. Like I said, I know for a fact I've tried their flower before on this channel, and I'm sure you have too. All right, so we got a nice little lineup from them. We got the strawberry cake and strawberry cake. A few different vendors had this, you know, last year. WNC, Southern Charm, Hemp Hop, I think had this. This came from them. Pink Panther, now a lot of places are growing their own Pink Panther, so I don't know who has their Pink Panther now, but this is Pink Panther. Cherry Creme Brulee, once again, I tried this here on the channel before, a couple different vendors had it. This is one of the first big indoor hemp strains that came out that wasn't Oregon CBD. And what I'm most intrigued by, Cosmic Kush. Now Cosmic Kush, I believe is Bubba Kush and Sour Space Candy. Not sure if it's something else, I'm gonna put it right here. That Cosmic Kush, you know, y'all know I love my Kush crosses. Sour Space Candy has a good terpene profile crossed with that Kush. This could be amazing. All right, and with our flower, no stickers or anything, that's cool. Also, no letter to law enforcement. Holy City, that's an easy fix you could get on. I recommend that. They do have COAs though. They are the micro mini variety of COAs, but that's cool as long as they're there. All right, so I'm gonna just dive in, all right? So let's check them out and then we'll decide what to smoke once we've seen them all. So we're gonna check out this Pink Panther first, one of my favorite strains. This comes in at 8.33% CBD, 0.32% total THC. So not super high in the numbers, but you know, like we've seen from experience here on the channel, sometimes that doesn't mean everything. This is sealed, no smell whatsoever. Let's check it out. Remember, Pink Panther is one of my favorites. Let's have some bomb Pink Panther this year. Mmm, that smells like Pink Panther for sure. Pink Panther has a distinct, gassy, kind of uh, similar to a Sour Space Candy smell, but much more dank, much more gassy. Mmm, 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 that smells good. Oh my Lord. Let's get it out onto a tray. All right, this is some beautiful Pink Panther. It's awesome. It doesn't have the, the, the pink and purple hues to it. This is just pretty much straight green, but it is delicious looking. It smells bomb. It looks good. The nug structure is perfect. It's frosty. Only thing I'm concerned about is those test results were a little bit low. You know, that 8.33% CBD. Um, however, this looks and smells fire. You would never know. But just check that out. That is some pretty looking stuff and the smell. Oh my, I love that Pink Panther smell. All right, let's see what this Cherry Cran Brulee is talking about. Like I said, we tried this strain on the channel maybe a couple times. This comes in at only 6.51% CBD, 0.24% total THC. So this is even lower than the Pink Panther. Okay, not a super pungent smell. It does have a very light, floral, perfumey type of smell. Uh, almost like a pastry type of like a, a baked goods type of smell but not that sweet. It's not loud at all, but it smells very clean. It's definitely not under cured or anything. It 
and the colors on this cherry creme brulee once again it's just kind of like the, the mostly standard green but the saturation the green is so vibrant it, it's almost like this is like a, a a picture that somebody photoshopped and turned the saturation way up it is such a bright vibrant solid green on this and some of these nugs are kind of chunky look at that it's a little chunky thing it's interesting out of the bag now it's had some time to air out. I'm actually giving you a, a little bit of like a, a sour gas tone to it. Still, not the most loudest, not the most pungent thing, but it smells good, it smells clean. So I'll be honest, these test results, the numbers, they're not the highest, so I'm a little bit concerned. However, we have seen stuff before on the channel that was seven, eight, nine percent, and it ended up being real potent, real heavy. So I don't generally judge by the numbers at all. Let's move on to the strawberry cake. This comes in at 8.23% CBD. 0.337% total THC. So kind of a trend. It's almost making me wonder if Holy City, maybe they're harvesting a little bit earlier or something to make sure they're staying total THC compliant. I don't know. But the quality of the flower so far is very good. All right, let's check this out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh Lord Jesus, is a fire. Ooh. Woo, sweet mother of molasses. Mm. Oh, wow. This smells like, <laughs> you know, the little church candies, the red strawberry things. They got the strawberry printed wrapper. You know, the ladies be having them at church and stuff. Grandma had them and buried in the bottom of her purse. This smells like that mixed with some kush and some gas. Ooh, it's loud too. Ooh, this smells amazing. Mm. This almost smells like that strawberry kush. Ooh, man, I gotta check this out. Let's get a closer look. And once again, look at the colors on that. And I haven't played with the saturation or anything on this video. What you see is what it looks like to the naked eye. Bright greens, deep, vivid oranges, and this stuff smells so good. This stuff is frosty, it's dank, it has a good trim, a good cure. So far in all these strains, the only thing that's concerning me is the numbers on the test results. Other than that though, this stuff is A1 top shelf, high grade premium flour. All right, so I'm, I'm impressed by that strawberry cake. Just opening that bag, that was loud. I really wanna get to this Cosmic Kush though. You know, you never know, this could be a new favorite. Let's see. This comes in at 7.8%. CBD, 0.93% total THC. No smell, let's dive right in. Ooh, man, I'm getting a, I'm just getting a strong sour space candy smell. Not really getting any Bubba Kush. I'm not really getting any cushiness at all. Let's let it air out. Man, that is a pungent, a minty, strong, like, Fumy sour space candy though, all up into the nasal passages. Mmm, it's like somebody took some Vicks Vapor Rub or something, put it on their fingers and stuffed it all up in your nose. That's strong. Let's get it out onto a tray. And it's crazy, you could tell that all these strains come from the same grower. They got similar test results, similar bud structure, same type of cure, trim and everything. You can't fake the funk at all. But look at that, just like the other strains, you know, this just has really vivid colors, a good nug structure, real frosty, tight trim, all that. This bud in particular is just caked in trichomes. It's super frosty. That looks good. So letting it air out, I think I might be getting just a little bit of that kind of coffee kush smell, but I don't know. This is mostly, mostly sour space candy smell. Really pungent, but I guess letting it sit out, I'm getting, I'm getting some hints of kushness in there. All right, my curiosity is fully peaked. I'm definitely gonna smoke this. I think we might try the strawberry cake too, but let me get this cosmic kush broken down and ready for my lungs. And while I do that, I'm gonna put a high resolution image of it here. All right, breaking this down is 
very sticky, very dense. A grinder is definitely recommended. Other than that though, I didn't find any seeds, bugs, or anything like that. It's some good quality flour. Let's get to it. Okay, very sour taste. It starts off kind of a um, standard hemp taste, uh, but there's a strong sour aftertaste to it. A little bit of harshness, you know, on these bong direct to lung hits, but it's not too bad. I really like that sour aftertaste of the leaves and um, I'm getting already quite the head rush. All right, and of course, I gotta load it up into the vaporizer. Let's see what that's talking about. Ooh, really spicy on the inhale. Smooth though. The flavor in this vaporizer is stupid wild though. It has a, a hint of cushiness, but just mostly overwhelmingly, it tastes exactly how Sour Space Candy smells. This is some of the best tasting hemp flour in the vaporizer I've ever had. Man. The terpenes are so bright in the vaporizer. Whew, that is some good tasting stuff. If you vape, you're a taste connoisseur, you want some fire tasting stuff, get this right here. Whew, that tastes so clean, so brisk, so sharp. I like that. In the vaporizer, it's 100% completely smooth, no harshness whatsoever. On the smoke, there was a little bit of harshness. I had to stop myself from taking two big hits because I could feel it was gonna be hot. So I'll give this one about a four out of five on the smoothness scale. Combustion is smokable, could use some improvement. Vaping though, it was perfect. All right, if I'm correct about the strain genetics, it should be an indica dominant hybrid. Sour Space Candy is a really right in the middle hybrid most of the time that obviously Bubba Kush is an indica. So you cross those two together and you get an indica dominant hybrid. However, effects differ by pheno and I could be completely wrong about the genetics. So I'm gonna just kick back, let those effects kick in and I'm gonna come back and let you know how I feel. Five minutes later. All right, I'm back. Now, the effects that I expected or what I suspected is what I got. Definitely an indica dominant hybrid type strain. I would almost go to say very indica dominant. I definitely feel slowed down. I feel very relaxed, very chill, a little bit lazy, very stuck. While I was letting the effects kick in, I was doing a little bit of art and man, I was just 100% into what I was doing, completely lost track of time. This is heavier than I expected. And I want to say that this would be a good Netflix and chill type strain because you will definitely, you, you smoke some of this and you sit down and watch something, you are 100% going to get into it and just be stuck on it. However, it, it's a little bit heavy though, so you might fall asleep too. I feel pressure in my eyes. I feel my eyelids heavy. My eyes just feel tired. Like, I just want to close my eyes. I don't feel any type of anxiety or anything. No pressure in the torso. However, I'm not really getting very many effects in the head. It's pretty much all body. I feel very heavy. I feel very mushy. I don't really want to do anything right now. The effects though that I am getting in my head though, I'm getting a, a spacey kind of spinny feeling up here. It's, it's, it's strange and interesting at the same time. Almost like a lightheaded type of feeling. This is definitely an indica dominant strain, no doubt. And I'm actually surprised at the, the potency and the strength of the effects giving the numbers on test results. But like I said, you can't really judge based on the numbers on COAs because other things like terpenes and stuff have a big thing to do with the, the effects that you get in the end. And this isn't any weaker than some 15, 16, 17% type hemp flower. So with this strain in particular, don't let the numbers sway you. The effects are still good. Honestly, that's some good stuff. That's some potent stuff. So this is definitely getting the Shabazz seal of approval. This is premium, top shelf, well-grown bud right here. It smells good, looks good. The effects are good, even though the numbers aren't too high. But this is premium stuff. I like it. Also, the pricing isn't unreasonable for indoor flower either. So Holy City seems like they're doing things right so far. All right, I need to take a break. I need to let these effects wear off. And I'm gonna come back and try another one of these strains. All right, 
So I let some time go by, let the brunt of that cosmic kush wear off. But man, in the end, it just let me feeling really sleepy. I feel sleepy. I want to dive into something else, either the Pink Panther or the Strawberry Cake. We've tried Pink Panther here a few times this year. It's been a big hit. So let's take it back and let's hit the Strawberry Cake. I can't pass this up to try it on camera. It smells too good. Just a reminder, this comes at that 8.23% CBD and 0.37% THC. So let me break some of this down, get it ready to use. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a high resolution image of it here. All right, I'm back. Once again with the strawberry cake, it's dense, it's sticky. Not as sticky as a Cosmic Kush, but still, you're probably gonna wanna bring along a grinder for this one. Also, breaking it down, the smell got even better, left such a sweet, sticky, strawberry type smell on my fingertips. Let's get to it. Okay. It's a light, uh, better than hemp taste. It doesn't taste as good as that Cosmic Kush though. One more hit. All right, so also like the Cosmic Kush, it had a little bit of heat, a little bit of bite to it in the bong. Like I said though, I find that bongs are a little bit more harsh than traditional smoking, definitely more than vaping. Speaking of vaping, I got this loaded into the vaporizer. Let's see what that's talking about. Okay, a very clean, sweet, fruity, almost kind of citrus flavor with this. It doesn't taste anything like it smells. It's not as bright and it's not as breathtaking as that Cosmic Kush, but it has a good taste in the vaporizer. And once again, really smooth. Now on that second hit, I already lost some of the terpiness. So this definitely isn't as good as a Cosmic Kush in the taste department, but most strains aren't. But it still has a pleasant taste and it's easy to inhale. Just like that Cosmic Kush, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one about a four out of five on the smoothness scale. In the vaporizer, it was completely fine. Smoking it out of the bong, there was a little bit of heat, a little bit of bite to it. So it, it's pretty good, but not perfect. All right, and uh, from what I know, strawberry cake is a indica dominant type strain as well. So. Uh, if I don't fall asleep after smoking this, I will come back and let you know what the effects are like. A few minutes later. All right, I'm back. And uh, I was right. Once again, very indica dominant strain. I don't want to do nothing right now. I don't even want to finish this video. What I want to do is go drink some water, lay down and go to sleep. Now I'm calling this an indica dominant strain and not a straight heavy indica, just like that Cosmic Kush because Although I feel heavy and I feel slow and syrupy and, and sweet and sleepy and everything. What? I, I also feel like this is still something that you could smoke and like have a conversation with somebody and not just pass out or nod off or something. Also, this is definitely something that you could sit down, watch some Netflix or something and really focus on strongly on what you're watching um, if you're not too sleepy. On this one though, unlike the Cosmic Kush, this one gave me bad cotton mouth. My mouth is dry. I have a very extremely warm, tingling sensation all over my body. Being super cold and getting under some blankets right now would just be absolutely A1, probably the best feeling in the world. This strain really reminds me of being on like, kind of like a, a painkiller or something. Just very relaxed, very softening, um, slowed down, but not completely out of it. I like the effects on this one. The effects on this one aren't as potent as that Cosmic Kush. The effects are, are still good enough considering what the numbers say on the COA. Of course, you add in the reasonable price, good smell, good appearance, tight trim, you know, it's indoor flower, all of that. And once again, I'm gonna give this one the Shabazz seal of approval. You know, like I already said, Holy City Farms has been supplying other vendors with their flower, so you probably tried it. I've tried their flower before on this channel unknowingly, but I'm glad that they're putting out retail though. So you'll be able to get it direct to consumer, which is always a great option for the consumer and the seller. So I'm impressed with Holy City Farms and I wouldn't be surprised if we try them again here on the channel in the future. That's the review though, y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you put them questions down 
to the Q&A video in the comments. Also make sure you check out my merch. I'm wearing some of it right now. This is the Hemp Just Smoke It shirt. All my merch is designed by me. It's all hemp and cannabis related. Check that out, support the channel. Link in the description. Also check out my IG, which is here. Link down in the description. I'm also on Patreon now. Link down in the description. If you're interested in getting the stocks or cryptocurrency, I got some links down in the description. Hit like if you like the video, hit me up down in the comments, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so, so much. I sincerely hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night. I'm gonna go to sleep. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.